Hey, what's going on, phone dogs? Boo HD here. I hope you guys are doing well. I just received the new over the air update to my Nexus 6. If you guys don't know, my Nexus 6 is running the developer preview of Android M, that being Android Marshmallow as it's officially called now. Well, now my Nexus 6 is running the third and the most recent developer preview of Android Marshmallow. There's not a ton of new changes in this developer preview, but I do want to highlight all of the main new improvements, and I do want to give a shout out to Tim Schofield, aka QBKing77, for being the first person to really bring these features to light. But uh, with that said, we do have a fresh new boot up animation. The animation is very colorful, it's very complex, as there's just a lot of moving parts, and best of all, it demonstrates material design. These animations all morph into the word Android, uh, overall, I really like it. I think it's definitely better than the circulating dots that we had before. Upon booting up the device, the first thing you will notice, at least on my Nexus 6, is of course the new wallpaper. We have several new wallpapers with this build, and they all look pretty good, so I'm just going to go ahead and cycle through them here. My favorite is definitely the orange, yellow, and black material design wallpaper, but I am a little bit biased. I do love the orange and black look, if you guys haven't noticed. Now as for the easter egg, if we go to the about section and tap on the software version which says Android 6.0, we still have the same Android M easter egg which, you know, isn't a bad thing, it just isn't all that exciting. It looks pretty good, it has the material design animation, but it's definitely not a marshmallow. Since Android M was just officially named Android Marshmallow not too long ago, I kind of expected a new easter egg, but nope not in this build. Google Now on tap still doesn't work in this build, but we do have a fresh new animation, which is worth something, right? The animation leaves a light trail around the display, so it's kind of neat looking. Some less important or less noteworthy features for the general public include the new way to access the system UI tuner. You just press and hold on the settings icon in the upper right hand corner until it spins around, and then it'll automatically take you to the system UI tuner setting, where you can manage the quick settings, the status bar, you can toggle to show the embedded battery percentage and enable demo mode, all of which have been present in previous builds, I will add. You can also go into the developer options and select the USB configuration. And there is a section in the developer options for inactive apps, which can be active or inactive, and can ultimately help improve battery life through the new Doze feature in Android Marshmallow. I'm sure we'll find out more about that in the near future. But this is the Android Marshmallow Developer Preview 3. The next build will be the final build where I hope to see Google Now on tap. I can't wait for that feature. As you can see, there's really not a ton of new visual improvements over Lollipop, but there is a ton of background stuff that will just really help to improve the overall experience. You know, there's a lot of bug fixes and just overall the OS is just much more fine-tuned than Android Lollipop. I mean, the dev previews themselves have been very stable overall. I haven't really noticed too many issues when using my Nexus 6 as a daily driver, which is a very good sign and it's kind of surprising to think that I could use my device as a daily driver even though it is running developer software. So with that said, let me know what your thoughts are of this build. If you guys have any questions, be sure to drop them down below in the comment. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.